Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to share with you a few tips about using tables inside Google Documents. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's say we want to make a no want learn chart in Google Documents that we're going to share with our kids and have them fill in. So let's create the table and we'll set it up. And let's just say we're going to put in a three by four for now. We'll put in no want and learn. Now, a couple of things here. First of all, if your students need more space as they continue to write, the cells will expand. Perhaps I want to know how the Electoral College works. And that cell will continue to expand. And they might have more than three things they want to put in the chart. So if they right click, they can insert a row below and continue to expand that chart. Now a couple of things we can do up here to make this chart stand out. Let's highlight that top row. And let's bold all of that. Some other things that you can do. Perhaps you don't need as much space in the want section as in the learn section. But you can click on the line and just drag it and reposition the amount of space that you have within that chart. And perhaps you want to bold this box up at the top. So you can click on the line and you can select the line color, the line width, you can even make it a dotted line around it if you want to. And you can do the same across the top there. So you can change certain elements of just the chart itself. And the last thing I want to show you is besides using this in the typical portrait mode, you might want to go in and change your page layout to landscape mode. And then go in and expand your space again so your students have more space to work. So those are just a few tips about using tables inside Google Documents. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.